Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this great value meatloaf and mashed potatoes. It is tender meatloaf and made from scratch gravy with russet mashed potatoes. Looks good. I bet you it's not that big. It might be that big. No. Of course, this is from Walmart. I don't know how much it was. Um, so I'm sorry. 370 for the calories. There's the other information for it. So we can do it in the oven. I'm going to do that. Cut a slit, five to six minutes. Remove, let it sit for a minute. That's it. So I'll probably do five and a half minutes and uh, and go from there. So here's the mashed potatoes and the meatloaf. Looks like it's in a, kind of see the outline there. It's not, not too small, but it's not super thick either. So, so I'm gonna cut a slit in here and get the microwave and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave and the potato. Ooh, they haven't stirred anything up or anything. I swear that feels like ice, hold on. Yeah, those are cold. I'm gonna put these in for another 30 seconds. And it ended up having to go the whole six minutes. Um, go figure. So anyway, it's good and hot now. So there's the potato, there's the meatloaf. It's um, it's not it's pretty thick. I mean, you get a lot there. You don't get a ton of gravy, but, but it's okay. So um, I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute. I'll probably cut this meatloaf into smaller pieces and I'll be back. Hey, it's had some time to cool off. So I'm gonna try some mashed potatoes first. Hmm. They're actually pretty good. They need some salt. Beyond that, believe it or not, they need salt. Uh, they're a little plain, but beyond that, they, they have a good flavor to them. Oh. Yeah, they actually taste like real potatoes. Um, they actually have little chunks of potatoes. So if you don't like um, chunks in your mashed potatoes, you won't like these. Um, I like them. I like pota mashed potatoes with little chunks of potato in them. So it's good to me. Um, um, if I had to guess, it could be all potato, but if I had to guess, it's probably some instant and real potatoes mixed together. I don't know. They don't taste instant. They taste like real potatoes, so that's a good thing. Um, here we go with a piece of meatloaf. Hmm. That tastes more like a, like a Salisbury steak, like a, a processed uh, meat beef steak, like a, almost like hamburger, but not quite hamburger. Um, I don't really taste an onion. Um, usually it has, uh, you know, some onion and things like that in there. I don't get that. Um, it doesn't have the texture like it has breadcrumbs, like most of them have uh, breadcrumbs or some kind of bread or something to thicken or to, to thicken it up. I don't taste that either. Mm -mm. No, that's more like a Salisbury steak. Um, I don't know why they didn't sell it as a Salisbury steak with um, mashed potatoes because that's what it is. Um... Overall, pretty good meal actually. I would give this one. Um, I'm gonna give this one a four. It's actually something I would I would mind eating again. It's got a good flavor to it, good consistency. Potatoes need a little salt to them. Beyond that, they're pretty good. Um, and go to the full time on your microwave if you don't have a super powered microwave. So I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching.